Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'll be showing you a simple way to draw Ramadan sugar cookies. Welcome to Figgy's studio. My name is Bridget, and here in the studio, I share simple, creative, dean inspired art projects. For today, you will need paper, pencil, an eraser, fine line sharpie, perhaps a straight edge, some cookie cutters, and colors. So let's get started. And the great thing about using cookie cutters is that we just get to trace them out. So even if you think that you're not good at drawing, tracing is an option. You want to overlap them. Just be sure that you are tracing super light and you won't see those lines, especially when you color. Sometimes if you push really hard and then you erase, you will still see the pencil lines where you drew and that's kind of annoying. I think this one is so cute. So I don't want the mesha to be on top of the Quran. So now I just erase that part out. All right, so let me explain this border idea. For instance, we don't put our icing all the way to the edge. So you're going to draw following the shape of the cookie where your icing will be. It still looks pretty flat. Now, if I want to think about it as cookie has form to it, what I can do is I can come and I can draw another line that's not as distinctive, but just on one side, comes up here. All right, let's do the same thing with our star. The icing inside. Well, this crescent needs some help. Now, for little hands who maybe aren't as steady. If this part is too hard for them, they don't have to do the borders. They can just go ahead and start on their decorations. All right, last one. All right, so now we get to think about decorations. Even though if you were thinking about piping icing, it's a line of icing, but you have to have something that you're going to color in. And so we think about there's a line on both sides of the shape. This one as if there's some kind of candle or something inside of it. A rectangle. It's going to be a happy haze. Let's work on this little guy down here. So I'm going to make a nice little drop shape. And I want to add some flower petals. Ramadan's coming in spring this year. You know those little candies that you put on the cookies? There can be sprinkles. Some people call them jimmies. I'm gonna do some icing lines here as if we're drawing some book pages. Loving Quran. Do some fancy little paisleys inside. Allah. Put the shanda. I like to kind of make piles of decorations around. Kind of gives it a story. Thing. So we're going to trace on top of what we drew. And then when we're done with that, we're gonna erase and we come back in color. And don't be afraid to turn your paper even upside down. And are you ready for Tarawiya prayers? If you watch my next video, uh, there'll be another simple creative Dean inspired art project and we'll be thinking about the prayer. See you there. This is the, the fine line ultra plate fine line Sharpie. The thicker ones are going to give you a thicker edge. I like to use these because they really remind me of coloring pages. Coloring was always one of my favorite things to do. Probably still is one of my favorite things to do. I wonder what flavor these are. Vanilla. I really liked it when mom would put almond flavoring in them. Mmm, so good. But the other benefit to drawing your sugar cookies is they are calorie free.
Now, sometimes people are afraid of drawing because they just feel like they're not going to get it perfect. Let me be the first to tell you that it is never perfect. Only Allah is the one who is perfect. And there's so much benefit that we can take from using our creativity and just trying our best. It's okay if you go over with that black pen, you miss the line, do better next time. More practice we do, the better we get, but we will never achieve perfection. That is all for Allah, and that's okay. That's the way we want it. Drawing is always a constant reminder for me of that. See right there? And I need to connect that like that. It's going to be cursive. SubhanAllah. Using drawing and your skills in a way where you're connecting the law. It's like a win-win. Whatever your skills are, make your intention and connect it to Allah. Maybe you're really good at cooking. Maybe these are not the kind of sugar cookies you thought you were making today. It's so funny. So this activity can be used in parties or just something to help yourself calm down, something you use to connect with Allah or Maybe you're looking for a way to make something that you want to share with somebody for Ramadan. So you can also use this as a way to make cards. You choose a smaller piece of paper, the size that you want, and maybe you just do a couple cookies. Maybe you just do one really fancy one. That sounds kind of fun. Where I live, we do not see camels, but I think they have camels in the Ramadan sugar cookie sets because Prophet Muhammad did have camels. So it's just another way to remind us of our connection with Prophet Muhammad Oops, I forgot these down here. Go ahead and trace out my border. Now I have some of these on my website that are free to download. You can go ahead and color. That's another way to approach this activity. Maybe you just want to color sugar cookies. You don't want to actually draw them. Um, so those are up there. You just follow the, the link. There's a coloring page page on the site. Okay, time to erase. It helps if you have a big chunky eraser. Okay, let's color. Um, it's a good idea to have a piece of paper where you just try out your marker and make sure you're going to like the color. It's a good idea to keep your markers out in case you find that you miss something. Remember what we said about perfection. We'll go out of the lines. We'll make mistakes and it's okay. Well, he created us that way. He's expecting us to make mistakes. When we do big mistakes, we ask him for forgiveness. And he's right there waiting for that. He loves that. Feeling the spring vibes today. Uh, as you're coloring, you might want to use a lot of different colors. Maybe you just want to try out your box. You just got a new box of crayons, new box of markers, and you want to try them all. You can also challenge yourself and say, okay, Today, I'm only going to use warm colors, let's say. So you're gonna get out your reds and your yellows and your oranges. Maybe you wanna use only cool colors. Oh, see, I missed some. My eraser, just go in and snatch it. I'm going to add something around this. All right, so now I'm going to work on the cookies themselves and the shading for the cookies. It's just going to make it seem like um, there's some shadows. So this is for the part that's not covered in icing, the edges of the cookie. It's okay to leave some places white. My icing on my cookie is white. 
Be free to turn your paper upside down if you need to. So I want to show that there's a shadow on the cookies. So I'm going to do that by going around edges outside of where I drew with a color that's close to a shadow color. So here I'm using kind of like a warm gray. And yes, I'm going on top of what I drew. You can see that it just kind of makes it come up a little bit. It's gonna give it some dimension. It's a good idea to think about like, okay, where is the light coming from? Which way is the shadow? So I'm gonna put a shadow from the masked cookie onto the crescent cookie on top of this one. If you wanna be super detailed, you can go in and even add some shadows for your decorations that spilled on the countertop. We did a good job. Are you ready for Tata Wea prayers? Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.